Hey, what's up my Koopa Troop? It's Koops and welcome back to some more Plants vs. Zombies. We are now on Vase Breaker Endless. That's right, guys. We've done all the Vase Breaker levels. We got the achievement for beating all the Vase Breaker levels. Now we gotta do Vase Breaker Endless, which is the same thing. Just keep going on and on and on and on and on. So it's a little bit challenging. We're able to find one squash there. I'll go ahead and squash that guy. Now, let's see. I'm gonna maybe need something else here. I'll try and figure out what's in... Let's say these these plants right there. All right, we have a gargantua right off the bat. That is good to note. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one out. I need another plant to stop that gargantua potentially. And I need to kill off that bucket zombie as well. All right, so that guy's dead. The gargantua is gonna be a bit of a problem. Now I have a squash for him, that's good news. All right, now we have two squashes. Now he won't be as much of a problem. And we will just squish him right there, there we go. That's him down and out. That's good to go. I need. There's two zombies up there. This guy is in the way, so I can't see what the hell's going on. All right, we have another repeater right there. I'll go ahead and put that right behind those to do a little bit more damage. This guy is always a bit of a problem, so I'm going to put that right behind his butt and just fire right at him. I probably shouldn't be releasing more zombies in that lane. That's probably why I lost the other ones. I will need to... Uh, Find out what's in these lanes. That This could be a bit of a problem down here. Now, that's going to kill off that one zombie, hopefully pretty quickly. There we go. The Buckethead zombie still has quite a lot of HP left, though, unfortunately. I'm going to place that down here to stop some of these zombies. Oh, I got some sun. That's kind of weird. Got some sun now for a cherry bomb. I'm going to try and save that because I don't really need it just yet. Hopefully this guy is going to lose pretty soon. There we go. He finally lost. All right, we got some firepower down there. We're gonna need maybe some more. He still has plenty of HP. I'm gonna go ahead and actually pop the two of them out at the same time. And my reason being for hopefully the squash will take them both out. I don't know if it will. Nice, it did. Let's release this guy first because my one thing should be able to kill him in time. As well as kill that guy up there. We do have a couple of zombies here. I'll go ahead and release the bucket zombie. I know I have two zombies in that lane right there. I can release this far back one. He can go ahead and get shot a couple of times, too. That one guy is escaping all the way through. I don't appreciate that. All right. This lane at the bottom could be the biggest problem now. If it's a buckethead zombie, we're kind of screwed in that lane. I'm going to make sure we have some defense for that lane. Let's see what's in this one. All right. Potato mine. We'll plant that there. And nope. I'm going to unfire that. Okay. So that guy got destroyed. More vases incoming. We have a current streak of one going on. But already, this was pretty difficult. That was not an easy level by any means. So I'm a little bit worried about Vase Breaker Endless already. Not that I was expecting it to be a piece of cake or anything like that. But, you know, I, I would have liked to know that. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be this difficult as I have nothing for any of these guys. All right. Stop him out. No, I don't want to. Oh, I grabbed on accident. I gotta plant it somewhere. Crap. Did not. I did not mean to grab that one. I really didn't. All right, plant that down there. That'll still work. I did guys see some of it. Let's go ahead and open this up. I need to kill off. The, oh crap. Probably shouldn't be killing off that lane. Need a squash or something. I'm gonna need more repeaters for this lane. I do have a gargantua up there, but I have a couple squashes ready for him. I need to squash this guy down here. Squash him once. And squash him twice. I'm going to have a bit of a problem in that. Oh, that guy broke through there. Let's keep firing at him in the back. Hopefully, I don't know if those two things can kill him in time. Let's got to freeze him, slow him down a little bit. Oh, man, we have a little bit of a problem coming up here. I can stop him, though, in a second after he eats through this. And there we go. Maybe it was a little bit unneeded, but I, was, I just don't want to take any chances there by losing right away. That would have really sucked. I'm going to go plant this down here. That guy will die. This bucket zombie, I will unleash him. I need to find I need to find out what's back here. I got to wait to kill that bucket zombie. I need to just wait a little bit more. Be a little bit more, more patient. Because if I open that vase up and it is a zombie, then I'm going to be in trouble. If I leave it as it is right now, I will probably be able to kill this guy off in time. We got three bullets coming from the two sides. So, well, I don't know. This bucket's still not looking that... It's still looking pretty durable, so I'm going to go ahead and just break that one and hope for the best here. And it's uh, there. It's finally off. He's going to eat through that one plant, but I think he's going to die. There we go. Okay, we got a little lucky. Let's find out what's here. It is a zombie. I will kill him. Let's find out what's here. It is a zombie, but he should die as well. I'm going to go ahead and release this far zombie because I know that he can die from the one bullet. 
I'd like to find more plants, which I'm not finding. There we go, plant this back here. The squash will kill off that one guy. And that second zombie should die to the potato mine. So I think we've won this one as well, there we go. If, if that three Peter doesn't kill that zombie in the first place, the squat or the potato mine will kill him. So we won that one. A little bit, a little bit close there, a little bit dangerous, but there we go. Current streak of two. It's not that impressive, but I'm pretty happy so far with the with the winning. All right, we got something back here. I like to just break out these these back lanes, as you guys know. That way, it gives me a little bit more time. Maybe I should break out the front ones, but if a zombie came right away, I would lose. Well, this isn't good at all, is it? No, it is not. Let's see here. I need a, maybe a more damage in that lane up there. I need damage actually in all the lanes, especially this bottom one. But at least it's got a defensive wall. Hopefully, we can get something. Oh, I should have planted it right behind him. That's stupid. Like I need to plant him right behind. I keep messing that up. I keep thinking about it too much. All right. Any other zombies in any of the lanes? No, not right now. All right, we got some squash, so we got a zombie. He can go ahead and die right away. These ones down here are a bit of a problem. I can maybe squish them, but I, I want to save these in case there's gargantuars coming up. Ugh. I need to get this down just in case. I'm going to plant that down. That potato mine's not going to make it, so in fact, I'm going to need to squash these two guys. I wanted to save it, but I mean, they're not. I mean, that, that potato mine, that's not going to kill those guys in time, so I need to do that. Alright, this guy will... Oh, let's go ahead and kill him off real fast. Alright, so he was easy to kill. This guy should be easy to kill as well. We have a bunch of bullets hitting him. There's some sun. Well, actually, there was one sun. That's a cool game. I always appreciate that. Oh, and there's the Gargantuar. We'll go ahead and squash him, though, as well as maybe his Buckethead friend with him. And I'll go and squash the Gargantuar one more time. So there we go. Two squashes means a victory for us. Now... Where, where to place these? I got some spots there. Squash for this guy, if there's a guy. That's gonna kill him. Need the firepower. Go ahead and release this guy out. That'll kill off those two guys, okay. What's it gonna be now? Hopefully it's not a bucket head, because we could be in trouble if it's a bucket head. Okay, good, we won. Alright, if it was a bucket head, we'd be in trouble. I need to maybe be a little bit smarter and get rid of some of these front lanes. I don't know, it's just tough. Like, for example, let's just get rid of this and... See, that doesn't help me. If it was a squash, I could do that. Alright, I'll go plant those back there. Alright, it's a potato mine. I will go ahead and set that right there. And I will wait, and I will use it on the first zombie that comes out of here, maybe. Maybe I'll do this one instead. I'll kill that guy slowly. Let's find out what's back here. Nothing yet. Squash for that lane. Okay. Three Peter. That works out perfectly. We'll go ahead and plant that there. We got a couple of things we can spot. Okay, the Gargantuar is right there. Let's go ahead and plant that. Get the Gargantuar out. As well as plant that one right there. That'll kill the Gargantuar. Nicely done. The Potato Mine will kill off that one zombie. I'm not worried about him. Alright, let's go ahead and find out what's back here. A zombie. I'm gonna go ahead and release... Well, I probably need to put this back here. That guy will die eventually. I do know I have a bucket zombie right there. Uh, let's, uh, it's tough. There's a bucket zombie there. I know he's gonna be tough, so I'm gonna put that there. There's a bucket zombie there, though, as well. That's never good. That's not good either. Especially as he killed my guy. Let's go ahead and... Squash him. Well, oh, squash the wrong guy. That's never good either. I'm have to go ahead and squash this guy as well. That one bucket zombie might die. I'm gonna wait and see if he does. I have a couple of squashes ready in reserve if need be. What's it gonna be? Okay, three Peter. That is good for us. Where should I put this? Maybe right here, I guess. I just need some more firepower in that one lane. Let's go find out what this guy is. Okay, it's that. I know there's a zombie right there. Let's go ahead and kill him real fast because he'll, he'll die real quickly to these things. There we go. This guy is a regular. Okay, we'll plant that there. This guy will now die in time to those four bullets hitting him real fast. Let's see about this next guy. Is it a bucket? No, it's not. All right, now we can produce all our firepower right here. And go ahead and 
Okay, we got a bunch of bucket zombies. Go ahead and squish these two guys, or at least the one guy. Okay. So, it could be a bit of a problem. I do have some firepower going on here. That one zombie is going to be slowed down right about now. Now he lost his bucket, so we got a bunch of firepower. So, there we go. We ended up winning that one. Four vases down. All right. Nicely done. Let's go on to the streak of five right here if we can make it. Let's... Got some plants in the front. Let's see where they are. It's a potato mine. I'll plant that right away. Wait for that to get set up. Go ahead. This is going to be an snow pea. Let's see if there's any zombies in this lane. That'll slow him down right away. That's good. He will take a little bit of time. No, not getting so lucky right now. Plant that there. We'll find out. Okay, it's a bunch of zombies, as it always is. <laughs> I need some firepower for these other lanes right here. I'm going to go ahead and fire this guy, and this will kill him. The bucket zombie is still a problem. I'm going to go ahead and get some firepower from behind him as well. So now I, have, I know, at least know there's a bunch of zombies in those ones, so I need to be smart about what I when I use those. Let's see, there are a couple bucket heads, so I do want some extra firepower in those ones up there, if at all possible. And wait for the zombie to die here, because he will die now. we got a repeater as well as a snow pea firing at him. So I'm gonna let him die real fast before I open up another vase. There we go. It was a walnut. Let's find out what's in there. No, I don't wanna use, I don't need that there. Maybe, maybe back there actually. Some sun. Go ahead and squash this guy right here. Nice. Zombie there, nope. Nope, okay. All right, I know there's a bucket head there, so I'm gonna go ahead and squash him. That walnut's kind of useless now, but that's okay. Well, that's unfortunate that that had to, oh, and I, did I plant this down? Come on, squash him in time. Nice. All right, so we do have, those are all regular zombies. Those are really no threat. We're gonna be able to beat those guys. Maybe I'll keep finding out what's in these lanes right here. A little extra firepower can't hurt. Let's see what zombie, nope, no zombie, okay. That guy will die to the squash. Let's go wait for him to die, perfect. And we have another repeater, all right. Let's go ahead and see what's in this lane. You start working on this lane. Okay, that's good for me. That will cover all the remaining lanes, so at least get some more damage. Put this right behind this guy. We'll go ahead and kill this guy off real quickly because we know he's there. This will kill him real fast. We'll go kill his friend as well. I'll kill him real fast. That guy won't die as quickly, but we'll kill him off. He'll still die relatively quickly. We got two bullets firing at him at a time. The potato mine will finish off whoever potentially is in this lane. Yep, that guy will die. I'm not worried about him. All right, so now we have a bunch of firepower for this lane. So this lane of zombies is kind of screwed. It is a bucket head. I will go ahead and let the squash finish him off. And let's find out who is last. It is a gargantuar. Okay, so maybe I should have had the gargantuar be finished off by that squash. I might need to use that cherry bomb on him. And it looks like I will need to. There we go. All right, I didn't want to use it. I was trying to wait. I I thought that guy, I thought the zombie would be screwed, but unfortunately for me, I was the one that got screwed. It ended up being our gargantuar, which was not good for us. But we did manage to make it. I do need some more sun now, though. I'm only halfway there to my 150 for another cherry bomb, if need be. But we're gonna call it a break for right now, guys. I'll be coming back with some more. I uh, sorry, some more vase breaker endless next episode. So till then, guys, take it easy. Peace.